हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर सेवन एंड द टॉपिक इज पोजिशन आइसोमरिज्म इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट चेन आइसोमरिज्म सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इट दिस टाइप ऑफ आइसोमरिज्म आइजेस ड्यू टू डिफरेंस इन फंक्शनल ग्रुप अनसेचुरेशन मींस डबल बॉन्ड और ट्रिपल बॉन्ड और सब्सिट्यूंट इट मीन्स that the branch formation at least in one carbon atom in a chain in other words we can say that the chain length will not change of the parent chain in case of position isomerism the parent chain will remain of the same length and the substituents and functional groups will change over it they will change their position to give more and new isomers so let's discuss how what steps we have to take to carry out proper position isomerism so in this first of all we have to check the molecular formula as molecular formula tells us about the number of atoms and about which type of atoms we are using and definitely in case of organic chemistry we are using carbon hydrogen and oxygen so these are hydrocarbons then we have to write the structural formula as structural formula is an extended form of the formula so this expanded form gives us information about the number of bonds and also about the composition then we have to check the parent chain length which will not going to change in case of position isomerism so where the change will take place to get more and more isomers note down the change in position of the functional group on saturation or substituent in a parent chain will take place now here for example in first molecular formula i am taking one chloro propane so now the propane is representing three carbon chain and one chloro means that at carbon number 1 there is a substituent which is halogen chlorine while in second isomer the parent chain length will not change it will remain same 1 2 3 propane while the chlorine will attach at the carbon number 2 so in this way we get two isomers of chloropropane only by difference in the substituents similarly in case of position isomerism unsaturation place can also be changed here the double bond is present on carbon number 1 so we will get 1 butene as the double bond is representing alkenes and we have four carbon atoms so it will be butene while in the second isomer we have double bond on the second carbon atom and it will be known as 2 butene so students have you noticed that the chain length will remain same only the position of unsaturation has changed now in this case functional group is changing its position we have three carbons so it is a propane now as it has functional group of alcohol so it will change into propanol and in first case in first isomer the hydroxyl group is attached with carbon number 1 while in the second isomer the hydroxyl group alcohol group is attached with carbon number 2 so in this way the total formula will not change it will remain same molecular formula will remain same because number of carbon atoms hydrogen atoms and oxygen are not changing in both isomers what is changing only the position of a functional group so in this way this is a position isomerism thank you so much